This is when Bengi has to step up to save SKT. On Blue's side, remember, with Bengi in, they do not have a Nidalee player. You cannot give Peanut Nidalee. We talked about how you need adaptation, and now you're forced to ban Nidalee on Blue's side. This could be the last game of the night, or if Bengi has anything to say, we go to a game five. Already a two-time world champion, Bengi was supposedly over the hill, but Bengi was a world champion. And with everything on the line, SKT needed a win. A veteran voice to show them the path to victory. They needed Bengi. After all, they've never won worlds without him. This is Bengi's story. Fei Bengi Songwung was born on November 21st, 1994, and not much is known about his life before League of Legends. Bengi's first recorded games were on an amateur team called BBT, which played in a Korean secondary league known as NLB. On that team, he played alongside a legendary support player, Cho Mata Sehyun. Mata with a godlike hook from over the wall! After the team disbanded, Bengi ended up at a tryout for SK Telecom's new sister team, SK Telecom T1K. And though he left midway because he felt he wasn't good enough to make the team, coach Kim Koma Jong-Gyun saw something great in the young jungler and managed to pull him back. SKT was built around a young solo queue star that was turning heads at the time, Lee Faker Sang-hyo. Meadow Faker may be in trouble here, Deathmark tries to clean it up for Ryu. Oh, look at the class, look at the moves! Faker, what was that? The team was designed to be aggressive, capitalizing on Faker's playstyle. It worked. It brings in Faker oh, going on early. He's alone. Look at that, man. He's going hand. There's the Ignite. Dane flashes Faker with the flash as well. First blood goes to Faker, and he gets out clean. SKT's sister team placed third in Champion Spring and posted impressive results in their debut season. But more importantly, they had the potential to be great. <laughs> All aboard the Korean hype train, SK Telecom G1. The team went 12 and four in the summer season and qualified for Worlds 2013, where they swept Royal Club in the grand finals to take home their first world championship. This could be a 20 minute game for SK Telecom. They will be the season three world champions here at the Staples Center. SKT returned home to Korea as champions and they didn't slow down for even a second. But that is it. They're turning under the Nexus, and SK Telecom has done the impossible. There is a perfect season for SK Telecom T1K. Just an exceptional performance, and these guys continue just to roll. SKT won Champions Winter with a perfect record, and were without a doubt the best team in the world. 시즌 3에서 SK 텔레콤 같은 경우 역시 최고의 팀이었는데요. 그때는 실패를 해본 적이 없고 물러서 본 적이 없고 좌절을 맛본 적이 없습니다. 항상 잘 됐죠. 꾸준히 이겨 But amidst all the success, few noticed Bengi's playstyle slowly shifting. His early game aggression, a hallmark of SKT's fast-paced bulldozer playstyle, gave way to something more supportive. 2013 시즌의 SK 텔레콤 T1은 다소 페이커 그리고 피글렛의 캐리력에 좀 기대는 부분이 있었어요. 그래서 임팩트, 뱅기 그리고 그때 당시 푸우만두는 팀을 서포팅해 주는 그런 롤에 좀 치중된. Bengi was Faker's invisible guardian. He was the man who set up Faker for the flashy plays that have made him legendary. There's no question that Faker was the best, but he couldn't have done it without Bengi. After Champions Winter, SKT started to crumble. They placed fourth in Champion Spring and were then swept in a tiebreaker match against Samsung White, which forced them to play in the regional finals, where they would eventually lose to Najin White Shield 3 to 1. Just a few months prior, SKT were the reigning world champions with a perfect record in their home region, but they couldn't keep up. Bengi wasn't solely blamed for the team's struggles, but the common perception was that Faker, the greatest player on earth, just couldn't carry his entire team. Uh, Faker은 분명히 2014년에 실패를 했습니다. 
왜냐하면 페이커 자체로는 성공했을지 몰라도 팀이 멀지에 나가지 못했고 결국 팀의 중심이었던 페이커는 실패한 시즌을 보냈습니다. SKT rebuilt in the off season, shedding everyone except for Faker and Bengi, the god and his right hand man. But even so, people were ready to write off Bengi. He was part of a roster that not even Faker could carry, and his mechanics were seen as being out of date. Younger players were faster, more adaptable, and had deeper champion pools. Oh, oh he locks it, it in! <laughs> and Tom bringing that solo cue, oh dear. In 2015, SKT signed Im Tom Jaehyun as a substitute for Bengi, and swapped between the two junglers throughout the season. What was telling, though, was the fact that SKT elected to play Tom for all three games of their final series against the GE Tigers, a series SKT went on to win 3-0. I don't know if they can end right here. They're going to try easy and maybe they'll trouble. There's the equalizer. Ever survive goes down. Marin gets that kill onto the support. A double kill for Marin, and now it will end. Snap getting low. Wolf still up, and there it is. The first Nexus turret down. The second Nexus turret down. A triple kill for Marin and S. KT with Tom with Ezeun takes the 3-0. GG, we'll see you at the Invitational. In interviews, Bengi said that watching Tom play helped him regain his confidence after his abysmal 2014 season. That's right, Bengi, the guy who walked out of tryouts only to be pulled back in, needed a rookie to remind himself how good he could be. 아니요, SKT went on to win the summer season, punching their tickets to Worlds in the process. Fortunately for Bengi, SKT took mid lane substitute Lee Ezihoon Jihoon to the tournament, meaning that Bengi was the only jungler the team would field at Worlds. SKT went on to win the tournament, giving Faker and Bengi their second world championship in three years. SKT will be your first ever two-time world champions! But even with a second world championship under his belt, people still kept harping on Bengi. Here's a fun fact. Bengi has never played in Italy in his entire career. Seriously? In Ever. professional games? Ever. Never? Ever. He cannot play in this match. Ahead of the spring 2016 season, SKT signed Kang Blank Sungu and started him for most of the regular season. Bengi only played in 17 of SKT's 41 games in the spring and rode the bench throughout the playoffs. I just wish I could have been watching their scrims, watching them decide between Bank and Bengi, Blank and Bengi, because from what we've seen, the video we've seen, both of them have been pretty poor, so. SKT started Bengi more often in the summer, but as the season wore on, Bengi lost more and more and was benched after just 14 games. Again, Blank played in the playoffs instead of Bangi. Blank, well, the one thing you can say about him, has stepped up when he's needed to. You think back to LCK final, you think back to MSI final, he was good in those series, and he's gonna need to be good today. SKT took Bangi with them to Worlds in 2016, but he only played in two games during the group stage. SKT started Bangi against Royal in the quarterfinals, but after losing game one, quickly subbed him out for Blank. I like the substitution for them. I think Blank has been their go-to for the majority of the season, and I was surprised whenever we would see Bangi if they weren't going to make it a permanent thing. Maybe they thought it was because of his World Championship experience. But this SKT team has won the IM World Championship with Blank, they won MSI with Blank, and I think if they want to win, they should be doing it with Blank. The writing seemed to be on the wall for Bangi. He was still good, but no longer great. But in game four of the semifinals, SKT were on the ropes. SKT have to change things up in this next one because they tried round two of the misfortune lane, they lost again, they have to change. And with everything on the line, SKT needed a win. That's when they called in Banky. They're going for Kuro. Double bomb on a Kuro, Shadow's gonna land this time and he's gonna get the damage. Yes, he is, first blood in for Faker. Over the wall goes Banky and so far, wow. 
so good for the first pick in Italy. The fact that Vega could revive means nothing to be had. Oh, what a great sword used by Spam. Getting away from it all, and the bombs aren't going to land either. But the turret's so low, and Vega wants to dive. He's got one, and SKT are breaking this one apart now. And now it could be dangerous. Wolf's going to die to a couple more shots. Oh, it's going to be enough, and that Bangy shuts him out anyway. And the flash of Kuro, the stun, and the Vega are not going to matter, because he already had the ulti on the Bangy. time. And Bangy again. Now the double kill. The flash heal for Bang to turn it around. But look at the trade damage. Ray running for dear life, and he will, in fact, get away with it. And this could be the game-winning play right now. Kuro's got nothing left to do. Sure, he can pop the Guardian Angel, but what does it even matter? It's a four for zero. It's the ace. It's the game. And it's SK Telecom T1 bringing us to game five. What a series we have here. I can't wait for the fifth game. SKT fight their way back in elimination game. Bengi subs back and he saves SKT. Now we're going to game five. Bring on the Silver Scrapes. Oh, there he is. The brush, there it is. It's Peanut. A lot of damage down. 300 HP on Bengi. They repel the chase. Come for attacks. The flash. One more Q will get him. And Peanut solo kills for first blood. Ooh, Shockwave's gonna land out. all the damage they need! 2700, but he can't do it with fight! It's gonna be all about it! Get. He's in the pit, and it's the kill on the peanut! Oh, the right for either side, and it goes to Spep to try to save the game! But it's so many kills coming through for SKT! Spep cannot pick up Bang, and it's a four for zero! Not gonna land just yet, but going the engage, the stun against the wall, Peanut could go down to Bangy, getting the kill again as they move on to the Nexus turrets, and it's all the FG wrote for this one. SK Telecom T1 backs against the wall. Bangy himself, 3-0 against Rocks Tigers in the series, and SKT punch their ticket to their third world final. Bengi started in four of SKT's grand final games against Samsung Galaxy, going 3-1 to one and notching his and Faker's third world championship in five years, cementing SKT's legacy as League of Legends' first dynasty. SK Telecom hoist the Summoner's Cup, your world champions for 2016! Surely, the entire world would finally see that when Bengi is sitting next to Faker, no team in the world could stop them. But Bengi is always doomed to be the bridesmaid, and never the bride. He's invisible, and most importantly, he's not Faker. SKT dropped Bengi in 2017 and replaced him with the Tigers star jungler Han Peanut Wang Ho. Bengi went off to Vichy Gaming in China, where he ended up losing a relegation match and being dropped from that team too. Snake destroyed the Nexus and take the win 3-0 over Vichy Gaming. SKT had a strong 2017, placing first in the spring playoffs and second in the summer, but they didn't look dominant going into work. Upset is complete as the kills come through. The SKT dynasty is over. All hail the new kings, Samsung Galaxy, your 2017 world champions. SKT placed second at Worlds in 2017, which marked their first ever loss in a Worlds Grand Final series. Their first time playing at the tournament without Bengi. You know, it's it's insane what they did, knowing that they've won three world championships. Expecting to, to win four is, sure, it's natural because of the dominant streak that they've had. But in all seriousness, what they've accomplished, no one's going to come close to this. Or sure, Samsung is quite close with the two, two victories. But in theory, it's still incredible what they did. And maybe it mm -hmm. takes one year, maybe it takes two years for them to come back to that same form. But they still have, they, like Koma knows the recipe to success. SKT knows the recipe for success within League. It's impossible to say exactly how much Bangi impacted SKT's playstyle, and whether or not he completely altered the way SKT treats junglers moving forward. But he's returned to SKT this time as a coach. Bangi and Faker have been reunited, 
while Bengi is playing an even more supportive, invisible role this time around, one thing will always remain true. When the unkillable Demon King has Bengi by his side, nothing can stop SKT. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button.